when we return what will we find will the truth boggle momentarily. Hmm. Commander Willow Black is going to be here any minute. Silk, would you go out and meet her in front and show her the way in? Sure. Again. This is Ava, your very personal sextrologist, with some sizzle and spice to brighten your life. Now here's a little song to stimulate your senses. Commander Willow Black, I'd like to introduce you to our engineer, Harry the Cat. Pleasure. The lacrosse satellite is in orbit. We should receive an image from it in any minute. Our lethal force operators are all tied into your transmissions. That's good news. We love the action. After all, we are the legion to enforce total harmony and law. Here's the facts we've been waiting for. We tracked a terrorist group to an area outside of Dallas. We have a go order to shut them down. We should be able to track the terrorist group visually via satellite. Ava, we need to give our agents time to gather around their shortwave radios. Well, this will alert our agents everywhere to tune in. Good. Hey, Tiger. It's the satellite radio receiver from KSXY. This is the call we've been waiting for, Tyler. I've been dying for some action. The weather on the mainland is heating up, especially in Dallas, Texas. Listen up and stay cool. Now it's time for some advice. We're here to help with your love, sex, and relationship problems. To our Libra and Pisces listeners, beware of unwelcome strangers, a confrontation. It's Ava, Doc. She's giving word to Tyler and Tiger about the gun runners in Texas. High-tech detonators and plastic explosives from China and the Pacific Rim up through Mexico into the heartland of our country. Look to the heavens for sexual gratification. There are others on the same wavelength who are driven by a desire to interfere with the forces of virtue. This is Ava again, your KSXY sextrologist. Sometimes you can see it all, but sometimes things can seem uncertain. 
There they are. Terrestrial angels will alight in your space to join with hard driving achievers. The sign of the archer is ever present. He has the ability to shoot at your heart for love or for death. Many intruders are gathering in your sphere. They will exchange gifts and pleasantries and be on their way. Tiger and Tyler will be fine. This is a major bust for our lethal force agency. They'll have plenty of backup once they locate the terrorists. But our job is to cover each other's asses. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. This one's yours. It's time to kick ass and take names. We'll have more love and sex advice for you after this next beautiful song. Tiger, lock in the hand receiver to the dish. We've got to stay tuned to Ava. Ava, along with my engineer, Harry the Cat. And we're bringing you the latest in sextrology advice. Think in terms of warm water on your bodies. That's our signal, Tyler. Our targets have made it to the water. They're stealing the agency boat. Ugh, the Vindicator. Mysterious ruler, which inspires many psychic powers. It can be painful to realize you are without. Vindication. That was Ava again. The good news is they've tracked the terrorists. They're on the water. What's the bad news? They've got our boat. Let's get them.
Explosive tips, right? Tyler, don't you know by now everything I touch is a way of exploding? How could I forget? <laughs> Let's go. had something to do with it, too. All right, they got the terrorists. Ah, but the boat's toast. Tiger and Tyler did a great job. Fish. Sorry, miss. This is a restricted security area. I just opened up a pizza joint downstairs. It's called Sophia. I just want to hand out a few free samples. Do you want a piece? I'll take two. <laughs> All right. Good thinking. It tastes really good. joint downstairs. Here's some samples. It's Sophia's finest. You girls are gonna love it. It's delicious. And wait till you try this ginger ale. Boy, oh boy, it's really gonna quench your thirst. Mm-mm. There you go. Now you girls have a nice day, okay? Thank you. Thank you.
<sighs> we did good work today, Tiger. <laughs> we deserve this. I know we deserve this, but we have to stay tuned to Ava to see how our backup people made out. For all the people seeking escape, today was a very good day. Those who took flight are also in the fold. Good. They got the guys in the plane before they made it to Mexico. To our Pisces and Libra couple in Dallas, you should immediately react to your impulse to bond. It can be lethal not to. Any place or building will do. Get to it now. This has been some day. That's us, Tyler. We've got to get to the lethal office now. <laughs> What happened? There were only three of us here. The rest of our people were out backing you up. We were all knocked out by some gal posing as a pizza delivery person. One of our obsolete computer files was broken into. Come with me. Look at this, Tyler. Whoever broke in here made a copy of this disk. I can tell by the information on the readout. Now, this shows a large area in the Pacific. Points out where many naval battles took place during World War II. This stuff is ancient history. This archive is quite old. And you're right, Tiger. It dates back to World War II. I'm somewhat familiar with this case. It deals with a shipment of gold, which was confiscated from the Philippines by the Japanese army during the war. The shipment was to be taken by boat to one of the Mariana Islands. The storm is coming. We should wait another day. The general has ordered us to depart today. I am your devotion. And I pray for your safety. A storm forced the boat off course, and it crashed on a small, uncharted island. No one could find the boat or the men for over 40 years. Two of our operatives, Donna Hamilton and Taryn Kendall, were returning to Hawaii from Knox Island, where they delivered medicine to help control an epidemic. Thank goodness you made it through the storm. We're going to save a lot of lives with this. You betcha. Good luck, Doctor. They, too, met with a terrible storm and were forced to land on that same remote, uncharted island, since known as Savage Beach. <laughs> Savage, because on that island, they were attacked by armed bandits who had access to military computer, a computer which had analyzed and pinpointed the island. Donna and Taryn managed to escape after a major shootout with the bandits. What happened to the gold? It was returned to the Philippine government. Yeah, but how does all this fit in, and why would this file be of interest now? The leader of the bandits betrayed the Philippine government. His name was Rodrigo Martinez. He was close to my father. My father was with a Brazilian embassy based in Manila. One day, my father received a diary and several boxes of documents from Martinez. These items arrived a few years after the Savage Beach incident. 
My father gave me the diary before he died. It's a chronicle of how a good man can go bad. Martinez was a respected man from one of the most prominent families in the Philippines. He had splendid political alliances, but he took the wrong path. There was a gold medallion in the diary. My father told me that it was for me, for Martinez. I've worn it ever since. When I was assigned to the Lethal Force Department, I put the diary in Cobra Safe House in Beverly Hills, along with several of my other personal belongings. You know, Tyler, it's all coming together now. The terrorist group was a diversion. We had them nailed all the way. Yeah, but the terrorists were set up too. Finding them was too easy. We wiped them out, bang, bang. They even stole our boat. I don't think getting dead was on their agenda. Sure, we go after them, leaving the office virtually wide open. We've got to get in touch with Commander Black and fill her in on this. We should also contact Cobra and Doc. They can bring the diary to us. I'll hit the computer satellite fax and fill everyone in. Good idea. Do that. Okay. Could we be in for a treasure hunt? You never know. I'm meeting with the new recruit. He's supposed to be one of the most knowledgeable men in the world on stolen treasures and embezzlement. Who is he? Washington wouldn't tell me. They said I'd recognize him. I'm going to meet him tomorrow in Los Angeles. He's flying in from Paris. I'll be in touch through Ava's broadcast. Your mission was a success. We will go to my penthouse to celebrate in the traditional manner.
Through the years, political bandits ordered stolen treasures to be hidden on a remote island in the Pacific. The only map to the island exists on two computer disks. This is a copy of disk number one, which you've duplicated from the Lethal Force headquarters. I will get the other one. Martinez, I'm fascinated with you, my love. This assignment has aroused my basic instinct. Now that's the kind of loyalty I need. This is the secure line. Hello. Doc, it's Tyler. I know you were up against it, Doc. But that Philippine diary in Cobra's den? We need you and Cobra to get it to us here in Dallas ASAP. Meanwhile, Willow is coming to LA to meet a new recruit. She'll fill you in. Put it in the flat pack. prison. <laughs> Book him, foo. Murder one. Willow, please don't headbutt me. We got lots to talk about. You look different. What did you do? Cut my hair short, close to the wood. Come on, get in the car. <laughs> Look, Willow, believe it or not, the guy I killed was not a fed. He's a fed. Get in there. Delicious! Bring more. He was, in fact, a serial killer roaming the college campuses of the Southwest. Your people gave me a commendation and a reward of $100,000 for taking him out. Well, what about all the money and treasures you stole? I spent three months in Lompoc Prison. Oh, that country club. You wouldn't say that if you ate there. You know, we busted our asses to put you away, and you do three months' time. I can't believe you. You are such a show-off. And you're almost big enough for me to find attractive. Baby, do not forget, no one could ever love me as much as I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Fu. The warrior's on our side now. You two should meet. Name is Fujitaka Bunichi Us. Friends call me Fu. <laughs> Friends call me warrior. I didn't realize you were so chubby. I can't help it. My family abandoned me as a child. I was raised by waitresses. What's that? Six pack, dude.
Book him, Fu. I've heard that before. <laughs> and make it quick. We got a meeting. Book him? This model airplane is some piece of memorabilia. It's our way of paying homage to Dinah Hamilton and Taryn Kendall. They were the first ladies of the Lethal Force. Fu, Warrior, and I will go back to KSXY on Molokai. Doc, since you and Cobra have already contacted Tyler and Tiger, okay. we'll leave for Dallas first thing in the morning. Great. Flight 161, departing Los Angeles for Honolulu. Connections to the Outer Islands is ready for immediate boarding at gate 41B. Hello? Yeah, Tyler. Cobra and I just hit town. Yeah, and the town hit back. <laughs> I'll fill you in. I'll contact Tiger. We're on our way.
I'm coordinating the disk we got from the lethal office with the information from the diary. I can't seem to pinpoint the location of Savage Beach. There are literally hundreds of small uncharted islands to deal with. Well, there's nothing in this diary. We'll need more specifics to make it work. Hey, Tiger, I'm starving. You have anything to eat? There's that pizza in there. I'll get it. OK. Another disc. That's it. That's Savage Beach. We found it. We need to get to Molokai to show this disc to Willow. Cobra and I will service the plane and file a flight plan. You guys meet us at the Dallas Agency hangar in a couple of hours. Okay. I'm going to input all the coordinates on both disks. Do La pasión que siento no se puede contener. Lethal Force Twin, you're cleared for takeoff from Dallas Downtown Airport, runway 16R. Good luck. From your contact man in Dallas. The agents are on their way here to Hawaii in their plane. We need to make some plans. Tower, this is Lethal Forest Twin. We are a touchdown. West Runway, Molokai Airport, thank you. We just touched down. Yeah, we'll be right there. Before I got busted by Ms. Willow and Foo here, from what I've been able to gather from my former associates, millions of dollars and other treasures, including a priceless gold Buddha filled with diamonds, was confiscated by the Philippine regime. Most of the money that was siphoned off in the hundreds of millions was laundered through US banks, offshore resources, and unlisted Swiss accounts. Donna and Taryn thought Martinez had died on Savage Beach. That's not so. My Japanese connections have informed me that he survived an awful explosion, but he was seriously injured. He managed to return to the Philippines. Once he got back to the Philippines, he made contact with his political powers. He ingratiated himself and convinced them that he could keep the stolen goods safe until they retired or were voted out of power. The location of the island requires a lot of programming. I hope I can make sense of these coordinates. Martinez is the man my father knew. He concealed the second disc in the diary he sent to my dad. Yeah, but do we know that's the only copy of that disc? Obviously. That's why we've been attacked by these bastards. Tiger and I will take the seaplane to get there. I'll put the package together. I'll make another copy of the disc for our use on the plane. We'll patch them into the navigation autopilot. That should guide us right to Savage Beach. What about Tyler and me? It'll take a lot of fuel, Doc. And if you haven't noticed, you guys weigh more than we do. Warrior, 
You and Fu should stay here and protect Ava's operation. Doc, Tyler, and I will sail there. You guys up to that? Yeah, sure. I was born for water sports. I'll help you through it all, pal. By now, the agents have gotten the second disc to a computer and are preparing to go to Savage Beach to find the stolen treasures. <laughs> Those agents will be in for a surprise once they find the island. It'll be well worth it, my love. I want to be a part of you, to help you. My first assignment for you, after we finish our business here, is for you to pay a visit to our friend Tyler. Why can't I see behind your mask? What do you hide there? Someday, my dear, I'll reveal everything to you. But for now, there are parts of you I want to reveal to me. We'll be in the vicinity of Savage Beach Island in about 12 hours, depending upon the weather and the wind. I've got the original disc copies right here. See you in a few days. Radio OK? Loud and clear. You guys picking up Ava's radio transmission all right? Also loud and clear. Good luck, ladies. We need him to tell the others what happened here. They will panic, and we can make our move toward the secret island. Help me with Tyler. Search him. He has the disc. Come on, bring him with us. Tyler's been kidnapped. Four ninjas ambushed us. One was a woman. We never saw him coming. They stole the coordinating discs. Cobra and Tiger are gonna be in terrible danger once they reach the destination. Clearly they'll hold Tyler as hostage. Insurance against any part of the plan failing. Doc, we sail at dawn. We'll maintain radio contact with Cobra and Tiger through Ava. They'll navigate us to Savage Beach. Warrior, would you take a walk with me? Haven't you ever met a woman who could make you happy? Sure. Three or four times a week. <laughs> Thank you. 
facts are, Doc and Willow have sailed off to a desert island. Cobra, it's Ava. Listen. Tyler has run into a storm and hasn't been seen since. Mercury, your ruler cannot protect you. Beware of unsavory intruders. We found it, Cobra. There's Savage Beach. Let's taxi to that cove, over there. Paid off the manager and took a submarine from the Maui Wharf this morning. A submarine? We can't trek underwater with a lacrosse satellite. Those bastards are smart. They know that we're onto them. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I'm getting something. the left. You're not getting anything? Nothing on this side. <laughs> this is definitely it. We're gonna need some help with this. Doc and Willow should be here soon. You want to go for that swim? Yeah. Ava, I see Savage Beach. We're there. I love women in leather. They smell like a new car. Too bad you'll never get a test drive.
Yeah, there are Willow. I am so glad we found you. We think we've located where the treasure is. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need some help digging it up, big guy. Let's do it. Here it is, the Philippine treasure. Spread out! Shot right. Where? Your medallion. Okay. Okay. You ladies want to help me up. Oh, 
shit. Attention, this countdown is less than two minutes. The gold Martinez medallion must be inserted into the trigger device and the coordinates lined up, or everything within a two mile radius will be destroyed. Give me the medallion. Danger, mayday, mayday, approaching a catastrophic code red situation. Attention, danger, one away. minute Come detonation on. of atomic fit. device. Radiation it kill factor, 100%. Mayday, danger, the atomic oh, device oh, failed. Come on, file it down. Been violated. Let's get a file. Oh. Yeah, Attention, imminent danger. 45 seconds to explode. Oh, Follow instructions as given. Urgent, oh, urgent. All things alive, persons or creatures Violet. should not be within 16 that square miles of this ground zero oh, point. Yeah. Attention, mayday situation. 30 seconds. Medallion insertion required. No, more. no other termination of countdown possible. Evacuation China. probability less than one hundredth of one percent. Closing into point of no return. Fifteen seconds oh, to explosion. Fifteen seconds. Atomic oh. blast oh. coming in ten seconds Violet. and counting nine. Oh. Eight. Yeah, try it again. Seven. There you go. Six. Five. Four. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank God. Countdown terminated. <laughs> Trigger device neutralized for four God. seconds and holding. Oh, that was close. Wonderful. Oh, Look at all this beauty. Oh, it's so heavy. It's got to be worth a fortune. Are you having a fantasy again? What is it? Nice boat. This is a private dock, sir. Don't even breathe. Where's Martinez? Sweet 55. We're at the yacht, ladies. Come on down. You've got 10 minutes with him, sweetheart. If you're not out by then, we're coming in. Ah, my lovely Sophia. Please, come in. Here it is, my dear. The priceless gold Buddha. Our mission was a success. We're not waiting any longer. Doc, you and Tyler get the local cops to pick that guy up. You ladies are coming with me. We'll stay in radio contact. Thank you. 
The door is open. Please join me. May I offer you a glass of champagne? Hell no, you bastard. You're under arrest. For what? Smoking in public? The treasures you see here are to be returned to the people of the Philippines. I believe they were found by you and your Interpol agent friend, Sophia. You knew this? Of course. I'd love that glass of champagne, if I could fix you one as well. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but if you think Sophia is the heroine in this scenario and I am the criminal, I must correct you. We saw her on her way up here, and she had the gold Buddha with her. This is true. Well, where is she now? She dropped off this Buddha filled with jewels and left from the side door. As you can see, she took a few items with her for her troubles. She may be an Interpol agent, but she was afflicted with a large dose of greed. Please, relax. I have much to tell you. Would you excuse me for a moment? Certainly. I know you're aware of how I came to be here. Almost 10 years ago, I was involved with the discovery of the Philippine National Gold Reserves the Japanese had confiscated during World War II. Gold was worth billions. It was taken to an uncharted island now known as Savage Beach. Have you got my laptop? I put it aboard for you. I think you guys should go up to Martinez's suite and join the others. We've got a real mystery here. When we found the treasure, I was planning to double-cross the Philippine government and keep these riches for myself. But instead, I was double-crossed by my own soldiers. Ah. 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 I ran for safety during a big shootout between those of us who were thieves against Donna Hamilton, Taryn Kendall, and other federal agents. It was bloody. Get out of here. Get it! Greetings, gentlemen. I managed to make it to a small rubber boat, but Taryn, who had the first crossbow weapon with an explosive tipped arrow, how do you say in English, Pasabugin Moang Puwitko? Blew your ass off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Blew my ass off. Later, when they came back to the site, no one could find my body. So they assumed I was dead. But I had been trained by the US Army Rangers. I was one tough son of a bitch then. I managed to survive and get my strength back. And so later, I began to work on the damaged Molokai cargo plane. I used the tools and the gasoline from the Japanese boat, which had been wrecked on the island 40 years before. It took weeks, but finally...
Finally, it was done. I recorded everything in my diary. Then, miraculously, Took off, and 15 hours later, I landed in Hawaii on an abandoned dirt strip on the north shore of Oahu. I received temporary medical help from my friends in Honolulu. Then I was smuggled back to the Philippines. I had 12 operations over the next six years to repair the wounds to my body and my face. I am still badly scarred on this side. Therefore, the mask. Soon after my operations, I was contacted by corrupt politicians who were stealing the Philippines' national treasures, the nation's gold reserves, jewels, precious stones, and a priceless Buddha filled with diamonds. I convinced these people that I should lead an expedition to the uncharted savage island for safekeeping of the treasures. After we did this, I disappeared. No one could find me. I made a pledge to myself as a gesture of restitution for my past transgressions. I vowed to return these treasures to the people of the Philippines when the corrupt politicians were no longer in power. Then, a few years ago, my body began to fail me. The damage from the explosion years earlier put a hold on my heart. I thought I was about to die before I could complete my mission to make amends for my past. That is, when I sent the diary, the medallion, and the concealed disc to Tyler's father. If I died, the diary and the disc would reveal the secrets of the hidden treasure to you, Tyler, and to the lethal force. But you survived, and you sent your killing force to eliminate us and get the treasure for yourself. It seems that way on the surface. Yes, I sent men to you, yes. However, they were criminals working for these scum politicians. Once they got the treasure, they would have killed me and taken the loot for themselves. I even thought the lovely Sophia was my ally. But alas, she turned out to be an Interpol spy working for M1, a female James Bond who loved money more than honor. Mm. Freeze. It's Sophia! She's been hurt! Time to reveal yourself, Martinez. Tyler, he was your father's friend. You do the honors. What? Wait, I have something. Doc, hold him. I don't believe it. It's Carlos, Rodrigo Martinez's nephew. 
He's been on Interpol's most wanted list for the past two years. Another lethal force victory. The treasure has been returned to the Philippine people. And Carlos has been turned over to the Philippine government. Martinez really had changed his ways. But his nephew murdered him and took his identity. Who would have believed it? Yeah, we almost fell for it. <laughs> and you, Tiger, sending that fax of Carlos Prince to Washington. What a brilliant stroke. Tyler, you've got to start thinking of me as more than just a pretty face. I'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rodrigo Martinez. But you're dead. You were killed by your nephew, Carlos. How many endings can this story have? Yes. Carlos shot me four times. Bulletproof vest. Teflon. Shattered my spleen, broke four ribs. I was unconscious for three days. You're one hell of a survivor. I'm a walking testament to modern medical science. I feel as though we've met in another life. What a line. It's working. You two could really boogie. I prefer the tango. You would. This is Ava, your KSX sextrologist. I'm here in Molokai, Hawaii, next to my hot tub with my engineering genius, Harry the Cat, and a couple of friends. Remember, all good things come to those who have patience and love. Just think, I got to take out a couple of guys and got rewarded for it. <laughs> <laughs> you play your cards right, and you'll have more rewards than you can handle. Ooh, I'll drink to that. We'll, we'll all drink, drink to that. that. <laughs> Which ending does the story? Can I believe what I see? Can I unmask you, unveil your secret, or will you keep your mystery? Which ending does the story have? When we, one where our heroes survive all the danger, bringing the gold. This island of danger cannot hide the treasure. Tell me if this is the way things should really be. All of the mystery submerged veiled secrets and lies. Which ending will you write this time? Will the time say what you will? Promise Us ladies will win up next time. Will I? Within our reach, the fear and the terror will disappear forever. We'll bring the 